S-A-I-C-Familia, today we want to share the outcomes of our comprehensive right sizing study. During this presentation, we aim to achieve the following objectives. First, recap the background that prompted us to initiate the right sizing study, providing a clear understanding of the reason behind this important endeavor. Second, we will outline the community engagement process we undertook during this study. We will share the various ways in which we sought input from our valued stakeholders, ensuring their voices were heard and considered. Third, we will discuss the feedback we received from the right sizing framework and the subsequent changes we made based on this valuable input. We recognize the importance of incorporating diverse perspectives to develop a well-rounded plan. Fourth, we will present our initial recommendation resulting from the rice sizing study. These recommendations are the culmination of extensive research, thoughtful analysis, and collaboration with our community. And finally, we will present our overall vision to ensure that we live up to our value of not leaving any school building abandoned by sharing our commitment to repurpose and revitalize any school buildings that may no longer serve as traditional educational facilities. We are confident that our presentation will showcase the diligent work undertaken by our team, as well as the positive impact the recommendation will have on our SAISD community. On June 20th of this year, the Board of Trustees made a significant decision to request the administration to conduct a comprehensive right sizing study. The board's decision was informed by two long-term trends. The first was declining enrollment due to a combination of decreasing birth rates and a lack of a housing affordable to families with school-aged children. The second was a reluctance to reduce the number of schools as our enrollment declined. As a result, San Antonio ISD currently operates a higher number of buildings per student compared with similar school districts across the region and the country. The board was concerned that the result of these two trends was a growing and unintended inequitable distribution of student-driven resources, not just revenue, but money and spaces. These factors serve as the background for initiating the right sizing study, highlighting the need to evaluate and optimize our district resources in line with the changing demographics. The aim of this study is to ensure that our educational facilities are efficiently aligned with the needs of our students, families, and community. By conducting this study, we are committed to making informed decisions that will positively impact the future of San Antonio ISD. While the official rice sizing study commenced on June 20th, it is crucial to acknowledge the ongoing discussions and engagement I have had with our community since my arrival approximately 15 months ago. During this time, I have actively sought input from various stakeholders, including faculty members, regarding the necessity to rise size in order to better support our students and staff. My staff and I consistently raised the topic at faculty meetings, where staff members have expressed their concern about reducing class sizes, avoiding split classes or assignments across multiple schools, and the urgent need for additional intervention support and extracurricular opportunities for our students. These discussions have played a significant role in shaping the importance of this rice sizing initiative. Furthermore, I've extended my outreach efforts to engage with our business community and other community members, emphasizing the significance of this initiative and the positive impact it will have on our district as a whole. By highlighting these ongoing conversations and engagements, we aim to underscore the collaborative nature of this rice sizing study and the genuine commitment we have towards meeting the needs of our students, staff, and our community. Please keep in mind that what follows are the staff's initial recommendations. In calling for the study, the board wanted to make sure that the community, including our students, families, and staff would have ample time to help us make the best possible decision. So 
as we present it, we will enter into two months of public deliberation, which will include a round of meetings in the affected neighborhoods. During that time, we expect to make changes in order to better embrace our values and get the balance of recommendation so that they are as just and fair as we can make them. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce Patty Selsman, Deputy Superintendent, who will provide an overview of our community engagement processes and the revisions we have made to the framework based on the valuable feedback we have received. Patty has been instrumental in leading this effort and ensuring that our stakeholders' voices are heard and incorporated into our decision-making process. 